<clears throat> okay. Um, so, as I said yesterday, it's difficult and, and complicated sometimes to say Bukka Tov. Um, all the normal things that uh, th that we know that we have in, uh, in in the in the in the worlds around us um, seem to shift and take on different meaning. This uh, this morning we were, we were in shul in the second minion. Everybody said they're going to go to the early minion tomorrow after what happened. Um, just as uh, as we took out the safer Torah, um, we heard you know, we heard all the alarms go off and everybody's phones went off and we all ran into the um, into the the sealed room in the mamad in the shul. Um, and, uh, you know, we, on, on the, on, on the one hand, you come out of it and you realize how grateful we are that, 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 uh, that we, that we in Talmud are far away from, um, relatively speaking, far away from, from what people have been going through, uh, like this for me, for many years. And, and especially now still people, uh, in the South and in the North that are, that are closer to, to where all this, um, all this unwanted action is emerging from, um, so, so that's that's on, on the one hand. Um, on the other hand, it's uh, it's still shocking. And then we said afterwards, you know, they're still sending rockets, not because they um, not because they're convinced that they're going to land, but because uh, their their goal is their goal is terror. Um, their goal is you know the, the goal is terror more than that. They, they know that they can't uh, destroy us, and hopefully now we are proving that to them through our through our force and through our strong. And once again, a, a huge uh, good to have Eitan with us on the, on the line, who's who's in the field. So huge yashakach, and you should be strong, and you should uh, take back the strength of the people, and know that your strength comes from our strength, and 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 uh, um, and our strength comes uh, far uh, tremendously from your strength. So please, God, we should continue to 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 give each other lots of uh, lots lots of power. Um, but yeah, it's it's a, it's a difficult space to be in. I, Appreciate everybody joining. As I said, like our goals here are first and foremost just to connect together and 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 form our own little community of support. That the the more we can share in the space, it's not a logical human emotional process, but it's a but it's a meaningful one. That when we that when we share in something, we can uh, we can be in the you know that 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 gives a sort of uh, of a consolation and and a certain strength. Um, and then the second thing is to to understand the mizmorim, the, the tehillim that we're saying. The third goal is to um, understand their their relevance for, um, for for our time. So as I said, the tehillim that, we, that we're going to do today um, mm. is uh, kuf yud, and I'm going to share it now in a moment. Um, this is one that that I think is is uh, is less less well known. Um, I, I don't particularly remember it from you know from previous uh, from previous uh, you know, from previous times when Abishal has been Batsara and, and we've said to heal him, um, but it seemed, but it seemed to be one of the one of the focal uh, to heal him that, that came up from uh, the Rabbi mm -hmm. Nutrashit Israel, um, and uh, I thought it'd be important to go through it. Until now, just to remind everybody, and the and the previous Shirim are now on on uh, on on that playlist in the WhatsApp group, um, where you can see um, we did Kuf Lamed Shira Malot Mimama Kim Karaticha. Hashem, that we call out from the depths, and I think that was a space of just validating how 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 deep and dark that that, that initial space was. We then did one to one shulam alot esan el arim. When we look out and uh, we look to to uh, you know to the vast universe ahead of us and say to Hashem, we need that absolute shmira, and that was that focus. And um, then yesterday we did lam natzach mizmora david, which. We saw over there was the um, was the Tehillim that the Jews would say at the Beit Hamikdash before the king would go out to war. Amishah would come give the give the king a blessing, um, and the king would give a korban. And according to some commentaries, there would be miracles. Right, he would give this korban, and based on the way that Hashem would uh, would accept the korban, we would know um, whether. We would know whether whether that korban was uh, whether that, that war was going to be successful or not, um, but that was the that that was that theme over there. Um, Phyllis, did you want to say something? Your hand went up. Okay, um, I'm going to lower it. Um, so so that that was that was what we went through in 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 Lam Natsach and uh, over there being being the the, tr the tremendous. Okay. Yeah. Do you have to unmute me? I unmuted myself. Okay. Yeah, Perfect. yeah I did. Um, and, and something you just mentioned reminded me of something from yesterday. Yes. What lamnatseach means. And you gave two explanations. And I had thought it meant 
a very specific directive to the leader of the song. Okay. Like Zella is a musical ending, or we think it is. That Lamanatzeach is to the conductor, but not Hashem, but the actual person leading the song. Did okay. you? Is that anything you I, know? I, I hadn't. I hadn't seen that. I hadn't. I hadn't seen no? that yet. Um, but I think you know these these Tehillim are written, and that's what you see in all the commentaries that they're written. Sometimes for a, for a specific purpose, but they but they there's a focus on writing them in general terms so that they can you know that we can draw that meaning and and David Amelech and that's why these things are canonized into Tanakh because the meaning is is beyond just the the the, the literal um, translation of these things. So so you know that could certainly be it could be that the conduct of the war and that, and that's who and that's who we're saying it to in terms of that image that that Rashi tells us. Um, but in terms of the two other ones that you referenced, just for anybody who was in the Shia yesterday, the other two ones that we spoke about was Lam Natsar can be um, to um, to uh, you know to, to to the now it's gone for me. But the first one we says was uh, was Lam to to the conductor to Hashem, but he's conducting everything, and and we appreciate the order that that hopefully victory. in the seder that he comes to the world. Yeah, and the second and the second meaning was victory, lam that, uh, that that we should be victorious. Um, so those are those two aspects. So that was that was um, that was very much, I think, like a bit of an intro into the the severity of this tehillim. When we look at that as being the the beginning of entering into a state of of milchama, um, the the image that 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 spoke to us yesterday for for these times that we're in was was is kor komin chotecha v'olat chayedash nesela. That that uh, that we say to Hashem, remember all the korbanot, mincha um, olatcha, the the mincha offering, the olatcha, which was the the burnt up offering. Uh, when you heard the words of uh, of uh, of Prime Minister Netanyahu yesterday, talking and sharing more images, and I don't think we should be uh, we should we should limit ourselves to to the images and 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 the uh, and the things that 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 we learn about. We we know what the evil is. We've known what it is for time immemorial. And uh, what we need to do uh, together is, um, is is strengthen ourselves. But nonetheless, he shared this uh, this image in his speech of of people being burnt up. Right? It's called Kormin Chatcha Olatcha. The 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 Ola offering was the, the the offering that was completely burnt up. And um, from a sense of of if for whatever reason that that we can never understand that we don't understand that uh, these people. With, with, with that that sense of of a korban of of the of the mitat sadikim mechaprin that we that we saw in Arata milchama, um, then that's done. That that phase is over. There should be no 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 more no more korbanot. Nobody should be uh, nobody should be not lost. Not not one more drop of Jewish blood should be uh, should be spilt. Um, and that oh, was that, that that was that uh, tefillah that uh, that we had. Lance, even more, I said to. Uh, I said to someone in the community yesterday, I said, I hope your son returns without even a blister on his foot. Um, you know, and uh should be Kalva Khomer that, that, that they shouldn't be uh, that they shouldn't be uh so that's that's my brocha, not even a blister. Um so 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 that that's what we saw yesterday at the beginning of the of the of the war effort, so to speak, of the Kohain uh, uh of the 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 Melech standing there and the bracha that he gets from the Jewish people. Now we're going to go to Kufiud. As I said, this is a, a less known, um, a less known mizmor, and um, we'll go into it here. It's, it's quite graphic in its, uh, in its in its descriptions, um, and perhaps that's why the Rabbanu Trashit listed it as one of the one of the key to him for for this time. Um, that that our victory should be just as as vast uh, and even more than uh, than the damage that we uh, that we that we've unfortunately been inflicted and seen. Um, so let's put the translation on. Um, I'll do side by side. Okay. So we saw we had the David Mizmor. Um, we spoke before, but when we looked at the the David Mizmor, that uh, there's uh, I think uh, just over seventy Mizmorim that start off uh, with with the David, and fifty three that mentioned this Mizmor um, as uh, one of them that was sung. Um, um, According to Rav Tzvi Hirsch Wan Reb, uh, Wan Reb's um, commentary that's in this book over here of um, of, of this Tehillim, he um, he brings uh, you know as 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 they do different different commentators, but he says this is matching up according to Rashi with the story of of Avram Avinu going out to war. Um, 
hopefully we'll see today or or, or the next time we have a shiur <clears throat> the the amazing terms how Rav Cook is uh how he how he um relates to the leaders of um to our avot um and and what happens to them at a time of war and how their spirit comes into our soldiers and uh and, and ennobles them so um we can look at that possibly but for now um this is this is depicting Abraham's uh journey when he goes to fight the four kings um and that's why David Amelech is saying the Umadonai Adonai la Adoni so it's the it's the, the Lord said to my Lord so Hashem said to Abraham Shev limini adashito vecha adom naraglecha sit in my right hand while I make your enemies your footstool so there's this feeling of let's say our, our boy is going into war and and we don't want Hashem's protection to to stop for a moment um until our um and until our um our soldiers have come home until the war is over that Hashem's protection should be uh, should be absolute um this this really uh this really i found um quite powerful uh, um uh, the lord will stretch forth from sign your from from Zion, your mighty scepter hold uh, hold sway over your enemies and then this this pasuk was uh what really took my breath away in in, in seeing the relevance um, so your your people will come forward willingly on your day of battle in majestic holiness from the womb from the dawn yours was the Jew of youth um, we've seen these uh, and anybody who, as we like to do on the show or anybody wants to share anything or talk about anything um, the uh the, the tremendous impact of seeing the call of our soldiers and our people not rushing out of israel but rushing to israel um i think everybody's seen those images i try to find it to to use in the ship anybody's got it they can send it to me quickly i couldn't find it just before the shiur but these images of our soldiers and our um and, and our sons and daughters all rushing to get back onto planes there was um i've heard stories from people in the community um anybody wants to who's on the show that wants to share that they're welcome to but how people jumped onto planes to uh, to come back and support their to, to support us um and uh, and 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 have their space i think within the within the shadow of 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 the past you know a few months it's been mentioned a lot uh, when there were all these questions around the the commitment of of Am Israel to um, to the army and to and to the state and to the future of the state, um, you suddenly see how how there's this uh, tremendous rising up of um, of of, uh, of Am Israel wherever they are to come and defend uh, defend their land. Um, Biden had that uh, beautiful line from uh, from Gold, beautiful and scary line from Golda Meir where where he says, um, you know, she told me we have a secret weapon that we have no that we have nowhere else. Right, we have nowhere else to go. This is our only home. And uh, you see that in in the in uh, in the strength of all of our sons and daughters jumping onto planes with their long hair from their trips in South America or wherever it is in the world, with their tattoos um, and uh, their pure heart um, connected to uh, connected to the destiny of of Am Israel and Klal Israel, um, which which I think is uh, tremendously powerful. So I think that uh, th that's some of the kavanot that we can have in the psalm the, the first one that that hashem's protection um right until our enemies are, are pushed away that hashem's protection should should stay close with them uninterrupted um that uh, the lord will stretch forth from Zion your mighty scepter right but care of hold sway over your enemies um as we ran into the the bomb shelter this morning in the middle of shakrit um there's, there's, you know, you you feel this tremendous protection, knowing that yes, we're going to go into the, into the bomb shelter. There was a moment where, um, this poor young lady with her children was in the park just next to the shul, and she ran in, you know, completely flustered, gave her a chair, put her. She was there in the middle. Everybody was like, you know, there there to help and support and find water. Um, and she had tripped on the way in, so she was, you know, really belachat, and um. We all got in, closed the window. I saw, you know, some some kids. Made sure that their parents knew, but everybody looked after each other. Um, but you felt the sense of the Lord will stretch forth from Zion your mighty scepter, holds sway over your enemies. That like the the stretching, that that we have this miracle of of the Iron Dome, 
this miracle of you know of, of, uh, of also born of our own ingenuity that uh, that stretches over us and, and protects us um, that that Hashem's mighty scepter through through Tzal should um, should should stretch forth and not only protect us but also um, but but also protect us for the future. Um, so so that I think is some cover now we can have over here. But going back to uh, to to this image, your people come for, forward willingly on on your day of battle. Um, I want to read uh, what uh, what or what Rav Wan Reb says over here. And if anybody's got any stories that uh, that they want to uh, they want to share around that, please uh, please feel free to do so. Um, but but this is also a um, in, in the language over here, Rav Wanrib says, God then assures Avram that your people will offer themselves willingly on the day of battle. And indeed, Avram has no difficulty in leading forth his trained servants um, and enlisting the legions of his friends, the men who went with me, Aner, Eshkol, and Mamre. Um, I think, um, um, you know, we, we've, see, we've seen it so much. I remember this, um, this, this Pasuk was something that, that that always struck me in my early years of education, where um, we talk about Chanoch uh, Lenar Al Pidarko. We know from Shlomo Melech that it's the that that it's the the key pasuk of of education that we have to educate our children according to their way. Gam ki askin lo So when they're old, they don't stray from it. I think we see in, in the children of Amishal, no matter what education or belief or whatever it is, that they don't stray from their way. They can be very far away. But when it comes to this core aspect of, of being absolute holy people coming to to fight in in a true milchemet Hashem, um, they, they they come home. But in those texts, the, 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 you get, you get connected to the the language of Avram Avinu when when he when he um he takes he, he takes his um he goes to go he, he goes on on this uh, on this on this trip. Um, and he and he, uh, and he he calls up his uh, his his force, uh, which are his chanichim, his students, um, and that's how his disciples, his uh, you know his warriors are called. They're called his chanichav, his his chanichim. Um, and I think a lot of us, I know, I've got students, um, um, I've got students that are that are, that are that are in battle. I want to mention again uh, that that our learning should also be for uh, uh, Yeshua. Uh, Beheref I in a uh, quick salvation for 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 Daniel Perez who we know uh, Daniel Shimon Ben Sharon he was uh, one of my chanichim one of my students at school uh, we all know Ramadan Perez very well he showed tremendous strength in, in a video that he shared last night um, of Dvar uh, Torah uh, and and a wish of of Achenu Kol Beit Yisrael that the strength of our unity should come together so I think um, to think about those those aspects together. Over here, your people come forward willingly. Um, that one Amcha, that there we one nation, that, that we come together. He shared in his in his beautiful Dvar Torah the the, the idea of Achenu Kol Beit Yisrael. Um, that I can't remember who he quoted exactly, but he said that you got the Hirat Sons that we read after we uh, we, um, we we uh, we put the Sefer Torah away, and the last Hirat Son is not doesn't start Hirat Son. It starts Achenu Kol Beit Yisrael, and um, and he quoted a Hasidic Sherebi there that says that that the expression of Achenu Kol Beit Yisrael is the ultimate Ratzon of Hakadosh Baruch Hu. So, so that aspect of Amcha of Achenu Kol Beit Yisrael, all coming together and showing their showing their will and their Ratzon, Yom uh, Chaylech on the day of your battle, um, should be uh, should be very powerful. Um, the Lord has sworn and will not relent. You are a priest forever, a rightful king by my decree. Um, again, um, right, I think nishba. When you when you see the word nishba, and you think of these uh, these uh, soldiers standing together from all different spaces um, and places, swearing themselves into into the service of of Tzahal. I have many scenes from from having the scut of of living in the old city for a few years and seeing um, all these uh, soldiers come together um, to be nishba uh, l'shem shamayim for for Tzahal. Um, uh, the, 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 uh, always have these views of these families walking to the old city for the first time, and and why are they in the old city for the first time? Because they've never been there, um, and now they're there in order to go see their sons and daughters being sworn into uh, in, into the army. So it was like amazing to be born in in, in Chutzlaret and then come to live and learn in, in in Israel and know that the Kotel was always the first and last place that I would go. Um, and now seeing Israelis who've lived in Israel their whole lives, but they're coming to the Kotel in order to serve. And, and I think we see this tremendous strength in, in, in Klal Israel that, um, that we don't want to have an army. 
and we call it the Israeli Defense Force. We know that that's already cliched, but uh, but the army is something that 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 can remind us at our core of our mission and and and, and who we are and, and and what we stand for, and therefore our support of of uh, of the soldiers, our support for for our mission, just brings who we are and what we stand for into such stark uh, stark stark vision. So uh, nishba adonai v'lo yinachem, right? All the all the all the nishba that uh, that, that are heard over there. Um, should should be a schut for Am Israel that even people that are far away will come and be nishba by the kotel to to serve in uh, to to serve the shem shemaim. Adonai yimin cham achatz biyom apom alachim. And these are the more more graphic uh, images that that we now see over here. The Lord is at your right hand. He crushes kings in the days in the day of his anger. Um, these last two psukim we know. Because they come in uh, in Musaf just before we uh, just before we say Ashrei, uh, He works judgment upon the nations, heading up bodies, crashing heads far and wide. Uh, he drinks from the stream on his way, therefore he holds his head high. Um, I'm going to read a little bit of Rav Wanreb's commentary. Um, we know that Avram feared that the bloody shed in warfare would lead to his punishment. He's lost the various rewards which God promised him. But in our verse 4, he is assured that the Lord has sworn and will not relent. He's reminded of the eternal blessing and the tithe that Melchizedek bestowed upon him. Um, so I think that's uh, something so important that, that we also dive in for our soldiers. Um, we, we brought up these uh, sons and daughters not to know bloodshed. Right? Uh, our values, on, on, we, we, don't, we don't glorify battle. Uh, we go into battle when we need to, and, and we and we dive into Hashem's guidance. Um, but there's also a guidance that we want that whatever our, uh, whatever our children see on on the battlefield, uh, we dive in that that it shouldn't have have a lasting effect on them. Um, that the things that they do in in the in, in the way of war and, and the bloodshed that's involved um, will not uh, will, will not will not will not hurt them long term. Um, and I think Am Israel has has been dealt a mortal wound. War has its effect, and we can include that in in our tefillot. That um, that just like Avram got this uh, got this bracha um, from Hashem, that uh, that that that, that um, uh, you know that, that he'll continue to get this bracha even through the bloodshed of war. So too that that bracha should be on our on our sons and daughters. That the bloodshed and warfare should not lead lead uh, you know should not should not hurt them and damage them uh, long term. Uh, the brutal images near the end of our psalm of crushed kings, shattered heads, and piled up, up corpses refer to the fates of two sets of enemies. Um, and then, just in terms of this, this river expression over here, um, that's in reference to Egypt. Their, their judgment will be especially severe because of their hubris, believing of the river Nile that, that my river is my own and I've made it for myself. Um, I think this this aspect we spoke about yesterday of of declaring our thank God we're not at war with Egypt um, and and shouldn't be ever again, but that aspect of um, of our enemies being so arrogant um, to think that they that they own this land and this land is theirs and and they will not move and um, it's this you know got me thinking about the terrible chance the Palestinians right from the river to the Nile and. And, and all these terrible expressions. So, so the Nile over here shouldn't be a reference to to Egypt necessarily, but in terms of what these people in Gaza believe that that this is theirs and everything next to it is theirs, and and they will push us out. Uh, river this, to the sea. Yeah, from the river to the sea. I was I was I was intentionally not uh, not. Uh, got it. Yeah? Got it. But I, I don't want to say the things, but 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 accuracy is also important. And nice to hear your voice, Lorenz. Hope you're keeping okay. Um, they were on. Yeah, yeah. The other thing that I thought of when you read that was he drinks from the stream, and usually water is reference to Torah. Yeah. And yeah. if you drink from the stream, which we're doing now, please God, therefore he holds his head high, and it gives you the strength to continue onward. Absolutely, absolutely. Thanks, Holly. It's a it's a beautiful uh, image. Um, so I think. Um, I think what what this you know sort of got me to I, I, I you know I don't remember coming coming into uh, encountering these like you know cr crashing images of crashing heads and and such and such difficult things and we don't like saying it and it's good that we have an aversion to these things as Jews because we're a nation of of merciful people um, but this Tehillim reminds us that 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 war is these enemies are absolute uh, you know when these first videos were coming out and whether it's the one you see with with the soldiers of these terrorists, not soldiers, terrorists, the depraved humans sitting next to this poor safta, there's like this feeling that like 
like I was pulled to this feeling like, you know, maybe they're just doing this to threaten or just to, you know, cause some uh, cause some fear. But they're not going to learn. You know, not going to hurt this 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 poor Safta. Uh, what's her name? Yaffa. Safta. Safta Yaffa. I think her name was. Uh, her name is. And um, you know, that's that's from one perspective. And, and and like you feel like maybe they're just normal people sitting on a jeep, and you know, it's, it, they just wanted to create this first impact. They didn't realize where it got to, but you know, they, they, they're going to relent. And and and. Uh, in, in them walking, you see these images of them walking people captives, and so it's like there's like a like a normal stroll to their walk, and uh, and and in the beginning I, it was like pulled pulled me towards some sort of hope that there's something normal left in these people, uh, until you realize that they've taken the, these aspects of normalcy within them and completely corrupted them, um, and and we have to on some level appreciate the the the, the, the terror and the um, and and how depraved these people are, and daven from that space, that uh, that that our um, response will be will be strong enough in in their terms um, for 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 them and the nations of the world um, to to relent and to see evil for what for what is evil, for us to have the strength to destroy that evil, um, that our soldiers should uh, should should be powerful and confident and. Uh, and, and brave and courageous to do whatever is necessary, even 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 when the image the immediate images are are, are, are very difficult. Um, so um, so so we should have that tremendous uh, uh, tremendous bracha. Um, this this tehillim, as I said, is one that's not so uh, not so well known to us, um, but something that I think you know that, that we can connect to and and. Rather than looking at terrible images on on social media and, and videos, which uh, which play into the hands of our enemies, um, play into the terrible images that that David Amelech paints for us, use that as a channel in order to say to Hashem, whatever terrible images are out there, um, may, may they only uh, may, may they only um, serve as a as a as, as a way to um, you know to 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 invoke His anger and wrath. Um, to strengthen our our forces and our soldiers and our people, that we should continue to to hold our morale and our strength, and um, and uh, really charge forth with uh, with tremendous victory. Um, the last image, just to end off with again, is um, look out for these images of of, the, of these flats. There's one one flat image. Your people come forward willingly on your day of battle, coming from South America that I saw, I think in a normal plane. There was another one where it looked like they were in one of these like in Tebby type of planes where they're all sitting there and, and singing and, uh, and and cheering for one another. Um, that's that's the spirit of Am Israel. And, and every single person who sat and came forward willingly on that day of battle should, should get Hashem's greatest, greatest protection. Um, and it should be a tremendous good for Am Israel. We should... Uh, we should be able to, on this chut of how the people have come forward willingly and and beautifully and and expressing their their, their deeper selves, um, on that chut there should just be a, a miracle and a plague should just knock out all our enemies and we shouldn't have to go into war. Uh, we should all be safe. Anybody wants to share anything or or um, or uh, reflect, please feel free, and then we'll say the psalm line by line. I just love the way you take everyday aspects of your life and turn it into something inspirational and uh, with, with meaning from Hashem. Thank you. I Thanks, Jackie. It. Thanks. We're trying. We're trying. We're all trying to give each other strength. That's the best we can do. And, and then use the strength from learning and being together to do something active in uh, volunteering and in, in caring and sharing. Um, thank you all for joining. Um, let's do Kufiud together. Um, you can unmute yourselves. Control D works on Google <coughs> Meet. Um, I'll say Lan. You said the Lan afterwards, um, and then Lance is with us. If you'll do the Mishabara afterwards. Um, yeah. Okay. The David Mizmor Um Adonai La Adoni Shev Limini Adashit Oivecha Adom Le Raglecha. Matei Uzcha Yishlach Adonai Mitzion Redei Bekerev Oivecha Matei Uzcha Yishlach Adonai Mitzion Redei Bekerev Oivecha Amcha Nedavot Biyom Chelecha Kodesh Merechem Mishchar Lechata Al Yaldutecha
נשבע אדוני ולא ינחם, אתה כהן לעולם, על דברתי מרקי צדק. אדוני, על ימינך, מחץ ביום אפו מלכים. ידין בגויים על עקביות, מחץ ראש על ארץ רבה. מנחל בדרך ישתה על קין ירים ראש. Amen. <laughs> One more, one more request. I think just uh, Rabbi Peri spoke about Achenu uh, Kol Israel, and I think um, we uh, we should just add add that. And I think when when we say that everybody who's uh, who's got uh, children or people that they know that are directly on the front or um, or you know in trouble, um, then then please have them in mind and feel free to say say their names as we as we say Achenu together. Um, so let's say it all together and, and please have those names in mind. Achenu kol beit Yisrael, hanatunim mitzara v'ashiv ya, omdim em ayam, im em ayam asha, amakom yirachem aleyem, yotziyem mitzara l'iracha, umeafeila l'eora, umeshibu l'gula, ashta bagala, wizman kari. Amen. Amen. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, everybody, for joining. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.